Gemini, this is your oracle and tarot card reading for the week of November 12th through the 19th of 2019. Gemini, this reading is all about you. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, or anywhere Gemini influences your natal chart. You can apply these energies. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle. This is my channel. Please click subscribe if you have not. Help the channel grow and ring that bell so that you know when I go live and upload all this content that you're going to love, love, love. Remember, this is a two-part reading. We start over here with a full oracle card spread, and then there is an extended video link in the description box below where you will get a full tarot card spread as well as a love reading. Oh, yeah. Now, <laughs> for all of you that are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, there will be one coming in a couple of seconds. Let me thank you ahead of time, Gemini, because you're watching those commercials actually is a contribution and sponsorship of the channel. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you for your patience. I'll see you in a couple seconds. So for those of you who just sat through an awkward pause, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. For those of you who didn't have to sit through anything, let's get into the reading. Gemini, once again, this is general energy for sun, moon, rising, November 12th through, ooh, Taurus full moon, November 12th through the 19th of 2019. A lot of cards just spit themselves out for you, Gemini. And the first one, the crowning energy is think on your feet, but it is a little bit crooked. I'm going to take it. Think on your feet. You know what this tells me? Honestly, you're back to being you. You're back to being in that sense or that feeling of freedom. Freedom. Maybe a little bit of aloofness, but also this could come with a warning. Saying, Gemini, you might have to improv a little bit <clears throat> this week. But here's the good news. You're going to have the room to do it. You're not tethered the way that you have been. There's, there's this release of whatever was keeping you sort of boxed in. There's this release of that energy this week. And it's, it's like you're back to being playful. You're back to being energized. You're back to this youthful, youthful sensibilities. And as Mercury retrograde rain uh, wanes, I think that you'll also be back to being able to use your words as skillfully as you usually do to communicate those very articulate and beautiful messages that you love to share with the world. There has been a sense of this being compromised, the sense of you being over judged, overburdened by other people's opinions of you or yeah, negative commentary on your behavior or what you say. This is a liberation from that. And it could be spiritually, Gemini, it could be you saying, when did I, <laughs> wait, when did I start caring about what other people think about me this much? So it could just be internally you have literally freed yourself from the burdens of worrying about what other people say. And now, like last last week, I'll attach it above, your reading was entitled, I'm out of there, just don't care. Because you were sort of, you were done feeling like you had to be diminished and it, be less of yourself or stay diminished or stay uncomfortable in a certain circumstance. And this week is like you feeling a beautiful sense of release and freedom. Now, once again, Jupiter is headed back in, it has headed, has arrived back into Sagittarius. And that's where this card is aligned. It's telling me that your fortune is picking up. The sense of luck and beauty and, 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 um, um, prosperity is coming back into your life because it's very, very good for you guys when Jupiter enters into Sagittarius and it's going to liberate you in ways that will bring you back to who you are. Your sense of self is going to be restored. This is a very fiery energy for an air sign, but fire is that, is that sense of purpose and it is that sense of self. And I think being kept away from it this long or having that be compromised for as long as it has been, I think there was, there's, let's put it this way. The air is going to taste a little bit sweeter this week because you've been suffocating for so long. 
That is the overall energy coming through for you this week. Now, over here, we have everything in reverse, and I just don't like it. So I'm going to ask the cards again very clearly. Gemini energy, Gemini energy, Gemini energy for November 12th through the 19th of 2019. Gemini energy, sun, moon, rising. A few cards did pop out, and yes, a couple of them were <laughs> in reverse. I love, love, love how the universe does that to me. Um, mouse is in reverse. So there may be a feeling of, no, let's see, tend to the small things. I think that you, this is you not being bogged down by the details that had sort of wrapped you up and tethered you in ways that made you feel so um, suffocated. Trust in the magic. There is something that did not work out, that was not taking off, that ended. Nice. And I think it had to do with something that was very tedious. Tedious and you just didn't like it. Spirit has your back, but that's also in reverse. Doesn't mean that spirit doesn't have your back, but it does feel like there's a little bit of, there may have been a, a little bit of a disconnection, Gemini. A disconnection between you and what spirit wanted of you. Almost like you wanted to go one way and spirit was asking you to go another. Here's you getting your voice back. This is a very Gemini energy card. You're a very musical sign. Gemini, you're back to being who you are and singing your song out loud. It's almost like your song and your ability to play that song has been restored. Um... Cat spirit, claim your independence. Yeah, this could have been also you just getting out of a relationship that was bogging you down. A relationship with somebody who was extremely controlling. Now, this could have been with a boss too. This could have been with some sort of, like I said, legal issues that were oppressing you and that had not judged, that, that had been basically judgments that were made against you on some legal issues that essentially made you feel like you were cursed uh, bogged down by tedium or by minutia, minutia um, and, and, and always sort of getting the short end of the stick when it came to something legal, something governmental. Let's leave that there for now. Almost like singing a, singing a song, a canary song. This could be being released from prison, to be blunt. Somebody, you or somebody that you know is finally being released from some sort of legal obligation. You know, I know why the caged bird sings. Um, but you also, it's almost like that cage door has uh, flown open. You had to find your own song in a circumstance where nobody else was going to sing your praises or speak up for you. And you had to get back on your own side. But this is also freedom. You see, claim your independence. So I do see that there is a breakthrough when it comes to something that has to do with government institutions or law. That could be a breakthrough that's finally happening for you this week or somebody finally listening to your side of things when it comes to legal, um, legal, um, proceedings is the word that I'm looking for. I'm losing my words constantly these days, Gemini. I apologize. But um, say you had a bunch of court orders against you or you did get into some trouble with the law or it isn't, it isn't you getting into the trouble with the law. It's you working you working in a capacity that has to do with something official, say you're a teacher, for example, teacher of a public school. There's a lot of red tape that, that you deal with every day in your job and it was working against you. There could have been accusations against you because people were not speaking well about you. Um, there could have been, um, there could have just been rules tightening around you and making you not be able to teach or perform at your full capacity because the way that you used to perform was basically being degraded. Um, there has been a release or a let up of that squeeze, of that tightening, of that choking, of that suffocation to a point where now you can share your song or share yourself, your own interesting and unique perspective with the world again. But there also is a little bit of liberation here. So what that tells me is you could have made the decision to leave this job, to walk away from it. 
um, because it wasn't serving you anymore or you didn't like the direction that it was going because it believed in restriction and constraint and um, a uniformity as a, an end conformity. And honestly, Gemini, you are a nonconformist. I think that that is a very fair adjective to use for you. You love to express yourself in your own very unique ways, your own very unique voice and creativity, and to have to constantly conform every single day to the ideals of somebody, to, to be honest with you, if it doesn't, if it's not governmental, if it's not institutional, bottom line is the best way to describe them is a control freak. Somebody who is very, very controlling and maybe threatens a lot or, or uses a lot of highbrow sounding accusations to make or make to have made you look or feel bad or stupid. This was somebody who was extremely possessive, um, possessive, and it and um, sort of almost like cut off your magic by bogging you down with these minute, almost idiotic details. You do, you are very good at at dealing with details, right? But but it's almost like somebody was using the details against you. That's what this feeling is. And this week, this week is about protecting yourself from that, finally getting yourself some sort of defense, taking a break and coming back into who you are, or getting to a place where you finally can be yourself again after feeling stripped clean of it. No, this week is about regenerating and rejuvenating and getting back into who you are and also looking in it looking into the future now and no longer being bogged down by the past but this card is interesting dream the world into being you are creating a whole new path for yourself because you were very unhappy with the path that you were walking it seems somehow that you were bogged down by obligation and now you're looking into the future there is still this ominous sense of the past trying to haunt you or not fully wanting to let you go but that's why you got the defensive here right now you have this defensive mentality or momentum or energy around you that's blocking any kind of negativity that would try to come grab you from the past because honestly gemini it could very well be that you did have a lot of things that you needed to make up for in the past but it's almost like if you if you constantly are are held accountable for everything in the past you will never have a future it's almost like uh it's almost like skeletons or zombies coming up from the graves and they won't let you go whether or not you help to put them in the grave i don't think is is the is the story here it's that these dead things the things that should have long been let go of are constantly you constantly feel held back by them Honestly, Gemini, this week there is a lightening of that. But I don't think, just to let you know, that they have completely gone away. There is a lightening um, because um, it's almost like maybe they're a little bit distracted right now. So take this time this week as a respite, as a sort of energy restoration period to get your head back on straight, make yourself feel better, like, you know... Uh, I don't know, meditate, get yourself back into a correct headspace because you may need it. You may need it for the future. I'm going to turn the camera around so, you, so I can review the reading. Hold on. And here we have our full spread. This is the energy crowning your reading. Think on your feet, but it was a little bit wonky. And what that tells me is that somebody has... Somebody has really swept you off your feet, but but not in a good way. It's almost like they've somehow somebody's made you lose steam or a momentum has made you lose steam. There is a feeling of oppression here, but it's in the past. Do you see? In the future, there is freedom. There is the canary singing a song. I think of the canary and the jailbird, and that's why I said maybe it's this jailbird but no you're not it's almost like you're finally free because it says claim your independence and sing your own song you finally are free and right now you're being protected 
You have this energy of protection around you that is helping you to get rid of whoever is trying to bog you down. You are definitely this week able to look into the future, but look very closely at that card, very closely. And you can see that skeleton, that, that, that skull shape in the back, still trying to look into the past. So there's still this ominous sense that something is going to try to come back from the past. So what you can do this week, Gemini, is preemptively think, what is it that I have to clear up? Be very, very honest with yourself and lay it all down at the table. Because if it keeps creeping up on you, the best solution is not to ignore it or wish it away. It's to think on your feet and get ahead of it. That's why you have the Sagittarian fire energy. Fire energy to fuel you and push you forward. Fire signs are always thinking of the future. So your message this week, Gemini, is take this week where you're protected and you get a little bit of reprieve and look ahead and think what, what could come back and haunt me. Write it down on a piece of paper. This being the full moon is a great time to burn that piece of paper and send it out into the universe and say, I just want these things gone. I just want them to not be chasing me or, or, or chaining me up anymore. Or what you can do even better is write them down and say, all right, I'm going to get ahead of this. I'm going to do this, do this, do this, do this, do this before anybody has a chance to try to tie me up, wrap me up, hold me down or obligate me again. I'm just going to get ahead of these things. Get ahead of whatever is trying to chase you. So then it has no power. It's almost like it's almost like this reading is trying to give you the power to um, like how to, to, to vanquish whatever keeps, keeps coming back after you. Um, that's a really interesting, really, really interesting energy. Um, this may just actually be a fear of the past too. Do you see almost being divided between looking back and looking forward? And this is where you are. This is where your energy is. It wants to move forward. But something about this is still, it's almost like you're suspicious of the past. It could just be your fear of the past coming back to creep back up on you because it always has. So get a jump start on it. Think on your feet. And get a jump start on it this week so that it can't come and get you again. Like go to the zombies, put a bullet through their brain so that they can't keep coming back and getting you. Just do that. that that's it. That's it. Kill the vampires during the day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what we're, we're, we're saying for you to do, Gemini. Get a jump start on anything that you think could come back and haunt you. This is the week that you're going to be protected and you're going to be guarded from that kind of that sort of negative energy that tries to always pull you back. You're going to be protected from it and you're going to be liberated from it. And this is a great time for you to completely and totally vanquish it. And you're going to have that opportunity. So let's head over to, um, let's head over to the extended reading. That link is below. I'm going to fill pull a full tarot card spread to understand what exactly keeps almost haunting you and how exactly we can get rid of it. Also, we'll do your romance reading, Gemini. I'll see you over there.